around 300k ring, should you still be having trouble with four stars? Um, the most important lesson to learn as a new player is that rank does not represent how good you are at this game. It only represents the scores that you've set and the types of scores that you've set. Because if you play maps that the ranking system likes or like rewards more, and also if you just kind of have more scores in general, then you're going to be higher rank. So another thing is that it's very hard to like, so like with that in mind, it's very hard to tell like given someone's rank, like how good they are. It's also kind of tricky to tell like at very low rank ranges because it's, I think skill is very diversified there. Some people are like already comfortable with other rhythm games and they just don't have too much experience with Osu, but they will be able to get the hang of it quickly. And some people have absolutely no experience. Maybe it's like their first time using a computer ever as a more extreme example. And like, they're not very comfortable even using a mouse. So like getting to ring 200k was a very, very big stretch for them. And there is like very large ranges in that regard to the point where, okay. And another thing is that like ring 200k even one or two years ago was much, much different than it is today. So if you're asking anyone who's been around for a long time, then they don't have very clear points of reference unless they actually like keep up with people like that. It's pretty tricky to tell. And admit, so if you're asking like, if I'm X ring, should I be able to play X star rating? Um, star rating is also pretty like unrepresentative of the map's actual difficulty and uh, also, let's see. I, I don't even I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense. It there's a reason why people don't like answering those kinds of questions, and it's not I'm not necessarily trying to jab at your question either. But hopefully that's sort of okay. I, actually, I think asking those questions is very like you're trying to validate your progress, which is reasonable, right? Like if I was doing 300k, I would also want to know if I'm improving at a decent pace. But I think the hardest lesson, but a very important lesson to learn is that there's no such thing as a decent pace of improvement. And as long as you're at a decent pace by your own standards, then that's really what's most important, I feel like, also. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Ultimately, I think create your own goals for yourself and your, your own standards for yourself. And that's going to lead to the most satisfying gameplay experience.